Welcome to Church Media Production. I'm Andrew, and today we're going to go over how to make a social media composition slash bumper for sharing your videos on Facebook or Instagram, so that way you can give someone a preview of what the video will be about before they actually watch the full video, which you can link down below. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is create a new composition. I'm going to use a 1200 by 1200 uh, square image. That's a one by one aspect ratio. You can, of course, change that to whatever size you want. It's just this works good for 1080p footage without too much of overscaling needed. But if you're using 4K, you can, of course, make it bigger. So like if you want to do like a 4K, you could do a 2160 by 2160. 2160. It doesn't really matter what size that is. It's just as long as it's square, that's all you really need. And then your frame rate, I'm going to keep at 24. And then we're going to do 30 seconds. You could do a minute if you want, but 30 seconds is a good, easily watchable length. The name doesn't matter, so you can go ahead and say OK. And then you'll have your square. So then if you want to grab your square logo image and then scale it down to whatever size you like. This will be the starting image, and then it's also going to be what ends the little bumper. So if we go about 41, should be pretty good. And then we're going to want a background image. So we're going to go ahead and do the rectangle tool. Go ahead and draw that up. And then change the fill. So we're going to do just A, 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 because that's our gray background. Drag that down to the bottom. Yeah, we'll keep it right there. The next thing we're going to need is we'll get another little box and then we'll go ahead and add a white line stroke and we'll make it like a, let's do like five. This is going to be the bottom little bumper part. So I'm going to draw that out. We'll make it about just a little bit. It doesn't need to cover the entire thing. So we're going to have to make that stroke bigger. So let's go ahead and make it like a 20. Yeah, let's go like a 50. Yeah, that's better. And then if we come down here, we'll turn on the title action safe. Go ahead and on the shape layer, maybe we should make this a slightly different color. Let's do like our orange color. Oops, not for that one. On the wrong shape layer. So if we go into our shape layer, let's go ahead and change the Color. Let's make it the orange. So let's go ahead and scale this down. There you go. So that way it fits inside the square. Go to the text tool. We are then going to type in whatever type of message you want to say. Like you could do like check out the full video. Oops, below. I'll go ahead and highlight that, and then I'm going to make this text centered. And so we'll go up to a line, nope, not a line, paragraph. We'll center the text, and then we'll go ahead and we're going to move it to here. We'll center it there. Then you're going to want to kind of center it inside the line, which of course I'm going to change here. So if we go back to character, um, let's go ahead and change this so it's about like that. Okay. And then if you want to add any type of effects to it, you can go ahead and add like a drop shadow. would probably not look too bad on this. We'll just soften it just a little bit. Turn that up just a tear. Let's move the distance just a tad. That way you can get some little bit of depth to it. So then now you have, check out the video below. Since there's not a lot of text here, we could actually bring that down just a tad. Since we brought the text down, now our box is too big. So if we click on our box shape layer, come up here to the this little tool here, we can move the anchor point. So let's drop it about center. Actually, I'm going to drop it down here in this bottom point. And if we press V, go back to that tool, and then shrink it down. That way it doesn't take up quite as much of the screen. So now that we have that the correct size, we can go ahead 
and highlight our bottom two layers. We can go out eight frames, which I am currently right now. And then we're going to press P for position. We'll toggle that. And then we'll go out another eight frames. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to drag that down and hold shift. So that way it drags a little faster until it's off screen. Okay. And then at the same time, now we're going to come back out the eight and then on the top two layers for the text in the box, we'll press P. Oops, helps if you highlight both of them. So press P. We'll do the little stopwatch and then we'll go back the other way. And then what you can do is you go the opposite direction and hold shift till it's up at the top of the layer. And then when you play this back, you'll see how our little layer here is not showing on there. So we'll wanna kinda double check that because if you see right there, that kinda messed up a little bit. So we'll go ahead, we'll click on that one and then we'll make it just a little bit higher. So that way it stays covered the entire time. So now what we'll have is when you play this back, you'll sit there but you might want to make that last a little bit longer because it's a little fast. Let's move this out. This is about one second. So it sits there for one second and then it can start the video. Okay, once you get that kind of how you like it, um, we can go ahead and turn motion blur on, turn it on for all the layers so that way you get a little bit of motion in there. And we can highlight all of our layers, right click, go to pre-compose. And then we will call this video overlay. And then make sure you have move all attributes and adjust composition. And then we can go ahead and click the layer, copy, paste, right click the layer, go to time, time reverse layer. And then you're gonna wanna drag this guy out and then drag the other end of it. So that way it kinda lines up. And if you need to zoom in, you can kind of... And then I usually just double check, make sure it plays right. You don't notice anything. So that way, when you come to the final, to the end, we'll go back there and then it's done. So once that's out of the way, you can go ahead and save your project if you haven't already. So once inside Premiere, you're going to want to do Command N. And then inside your sequences, go to settings. You're going to change your editing mode up to custom. And then make this the 2160 by 2160 that we used for the After Effects. That can be whatever size you had. And then come down here to Save Preset. And we will just call this Social Tap. And then what that will do is that will create you a folder if you don't have any built already that are called Custom. And then when you expand that, you'll have it here. So we'll click that, we'll say okay. And then we can go find our After Effects save, drag that in. We'll use comp one because that's what it was called. And then when we drag that over, you'll see you have a nice square. And then when you play it, you can see that it moves. And then at the end, you'll do the same thing, but go out. So that way it ends with your logo showing. So we'll grab this video from one of the old things that I did. We'll go ahead and drag that up, drag that underneath. And then because normally I shoot all my stuff at 1080p, well, I'm gonna have to scale this up. But what you'll have is a nice little video here and then it can kind of give you a preview of, hey, this is what we're doing, blah, 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 and then it'll go away. The one thing you want to make sure you do, though, when you go to export, is if you do H.264, you want to make sure you do match source at a high bit rate. If you use one of these presets, what it will do is it will make it a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, which you do not want because you want it to match what you're actually exporting at. So that will keep it as a square instead of the how it thinks that it should be. But after that, 
you're good to go and you can go ahead and share it wherever you want to share it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to give us a like, hit the subscribe button, followed by the bell icon. Leave us a comment on any questions you had or anything you'd like us to cover in a future video and we will see you next time.